Hello guys, welcome back. My name is Andrei. Today I'd like to give you a quick intro into Donut Document Understanding Transformer. Uh, with Donut you could uh, extract uh, and parse uh, forms, uh, documents. You could run um, uh, visual uh, question answering uh, tasks and also you could do document classification tasks. For example, to understand if a current document is a letter, form or maybe some article or so on. So let's let's see uh, uh, the donut and uh, let's see how it works. So let's jump to my environment. And first of all, when we speak about donut, we should uh, talk about a company behind the donut, uh, Clo Clover AI. And uh, Donut is open source model which can be used in uh, your commercial products. Uh, this is different comparing to Layout LM v2 or v3. Uh, those two models are also open source but uh, not allowed to be used in commercial software and commercial products. Layout LM first version is allowed but um, it's quite old and uh, probably it's it works fine but uh, the accuracy is not uh, could not match probably the accuracy of Donut, I think. And the the main difference in terms of terms of the user comparing Donut to Layout LM uh, is that Donut is like a, a GPT uh, model which uh, um, uh, returns you information uh, complete complete result about the document. So uh, this means. Uh, yeah, basically you could pass, for example, a receipt um, document to the donut and as a result you would get a JSON file, a JSON text, uh, which describes that document. So if the model is trained to return information about uh, items, about item prices, about uh, total values, about date, uh, tax, uh, tax values and so on, you'll get uh, complete information about the document. While with layout lm you rather um, uh, get uh, layout lm it tries to uh, identify identify inside the document certain fields like total or items and then it uh, returns um, uh, coordinate boxes for those items and it tells you that this looks like um, a total value so or this is this looks like um, invoice date and then you get information in that way so it's a different way how information is returned Right, and yeah, you should go through the readme file for the donut uh, in, in official GitHub uh, repo. And luckily uh, to us, donut is also, uh, donut model is uh, uploaded and integrated into Hugging Face Hub infrastructure. Uh, this is done thanks to uh, Niels um, Roger, who uh, actually integrated Donut model into the into Hugging Face infrastructure and uh, yeah there are, there is a nice set of uh, tutorials published uh, by Niels in uh, under Transformers tutorials uh, repo on the GitHub and uh, under Donut section you'll find uh, code that would help you to fine tune uh, Donut model with your own data. Also, you could see example how to execute uh, inference on top of the model and uh, classify the documents. There are uh, very good samples over here and uh, uh, all three use cases are covered. Form understanding with core data set, then there's a visual question answering um, use case and document image classification use case. And uh, uh, also, Niels created three uh, hanging face spaces, uh, three demo applications to show how those use cases are working. And another resource I'd like to mention is a blog from uh, Philip Schmidt. Uh, he explains in very down to earth and practical uh, manner uh, how to fine tune Donut uh, model on uh, another data set which is called uh, SRO. Uh, ye and this data set uh, comes with um, receipts and then you'll see uh, how you could fine tune the model to parse uh, receipt data and return information about items total uh, then total price for example tax uh, tax price and so on uh, actually right now i'm following uh, this blog and also tutorials and uh, sample notebooks from niels 
uh, in order to build uh, my own uh, donut fine-tuned model on uh, my own data to see how it works. Okay, and let's see the demo from Niels. So the first one is uh, document parsing. And uh, there are three examples. Uh, you could upload your own uh, example, but um, if you will upload not the receipt document, but for example, some invoice document, you would not get great results because model is fine-tuned on this specific data for the receipts. So you should upload receipt and see how it goes and uh, how results be generated. But in general, as it looks to me, if you'd like to support uh, different kind of documents, then uh, you should experiment and try to build the model with those different set of documents. Or maybe uh, other option would be to train multiple models on uh, one set of documents, on another set of documents, and then when document is uh, coming from the user, you should do another task, classification task, to understand uh, what type of document you want to parse? Is it a receipt? Is it invoice, for example? If it's invoice, then it goes uh, for data parsing uh, to the donut model, which was trained specifically to understand invoices. If it's a receipt, then it goes to the receipt model and so on. But um, here, what is important um, and what is uh, I, I, what what I like most is the, the way how donut output um, is being returned. So this is the JSON. And you can see that the model was trained to understand invoice uh, receipt lines and uh, total uh, grand total and uh, uh, and I think uh, change and and uh, cash uh, elements. So, for example, for the menu, it it uh, actually says that this name uh, cinnamon sugar. Then unit price is seventeen thousand. Uh, unit count one price seventeen thousand. So it understands that line very well. Then it goes with the subtotal price, then it goes with total, and uh, it returns total price, cash price, and change price. Uh, it's, uh, it's awesome. So at the end of the day, you could get this data, and <clears throat> you could have uh, another uh, 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 utility uh, class or method which would uh, go through the JSON, and uh, it would extract uh, information uh, for total or for the cash price, uh, get this value on so and store it into the database and then uh, you could use uh, this data as part of your uh, business processing workflow for example uh, like uh, do different approvals uh, uh, yeah reviews and so on uh, like uh, uh, do different uh, regular uh, business process automation uh, once you get uh, parse data out of the document okay so another example is uh, uh, donut for document document visual question answering. So you may have a document, <laughs> different kind of document, and then you uh, pass a question, and uh, Donut would uh, <clears throat> generate the result. So this is similar uh, the way uh, Chat uh, GPT, for example, which is very uh, popular right now, uh, the way how it generates the answer for you. So, so you also uh, type the answer, and you hit the question, uh, hit hit the button, and you get back the answer. So in case of document visual question answering, it's uh, something similar as well because you could uh, write a question about the document and uh, Donut model would try to uh, find uh, context uh, for that question inside the document and uh, return back the answer. And the third option is document classification, uh, which is very important, I think, uh, because it uh, could be used as an initial step uh, in document understanding. So in this step you could understand uh, to which type of documents uh, this current document belongs. Is it uh, received? Is it invoice? Is it some medical prescription document maybe or something else? And depending on that it could send this document further further uh, down the line for the further processing. Uh, yeah, so this is um, my, just my ideas, right? And yeah, I think I see a uh, great potential behind this uh, donut model and I'll try to use it in our uh, own application, uh, which is called uh, Sparrow. It's an open source product where we try to implement uh, uh, document data parsing, document extraction, and uh, yeah, integrate it into the business workflow as soon as data is being extracted from the document. So thanks for watching and see you next time. Bye.